move them into here, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But uh, just move uh, brakes, engines, transmission wheels. How do you do that, you ask? Of course, if you were paying attention, we would just simply drag and drop them into where they would go because you do not have these four in here already. I do. So let's go back and recap. We have an SII folder. Inside the SII folder, we have def and we have vehicle. We're not, we haven't started with a vehicle yet. We just got def. Camera. Camera storage file goes in there. Economy, template accessories, those go in there as well. Brakes, engines, transmission wheels. <clears throat> now, if you don't have any intentions on messing with cameras or anything like that, don't worry about it. But I want you to have this because I'm sure you're going to come down the road and you're going to come across a mod and go, oh, geez, now what do I do? So let's go into what we are supposed to do. We have def, and now we're going to work in vehicle. Vehicle is basically anything kind of mod, standalone truck uh, or trailer is going to be accessed through this or interior if you downloaded an interior so in our SIF folder we have vehicle um, and inside vehicle we're gonna have interior trailer and truck where did these come from well let's take a looky here let's go back to our root of our base.ses and look there's a vehicle folder double click him what do you know we have interior trailer and truck that's all we're gonna use for right now so create those folders now by using your right-click new folder. You should know how to do this by now. Inside here, we are just simply going to look in what's in here. So say interior. We're going to use an interior storage file. So if I go up here to interior, there's the interior storage file. You guessed it. Drag and drop them. That's all you need to do. Uh, so we'll go back up and take a look here. We have interior. We have truck. Truck. This is where we're going to have traffic storage and truck storage very two important things very important SII files that is referenced heavily inside of all readme files that you get for these mods so inside here you're gonna have um, okay, you're gonna have all this garbage and it's simply going to say no oh, let's let me get my bearing straight okay in truck so we'll go into truck where we want traffic and storage and we want our truck storage so it, they're both at the bottom so drag and drop them in there just get those in there that's all we want for now let's go back up we did truck right let's go back up with him uh, let's work on interior now I want the interior storage so in interior guess boom there he is throw him in there very easy right we're getting the hang of this it's not so hard once you figure it out uh, it's just you need people to give you a little bit of guidance in our trailer open up the trailer uh, trailer all the way at the bottom there they are they aren't they're hiding down there there's trailer storage in your trailer traffic storage this is essential to setting up an SII folder so move all that stuff in there boom we've got everything we need we've got our vehicle trailer truck interior this is basically the only things we are going to work with here we have the SII def camera economy we have vehicle we have interior trailer and truck and inside of those each one is the SII file which is usually storage files or what have you but this is what we want and notice that down here under SII I have there it is there's an SES file now Jeff how did you make that SES file it's very simple actually you would just simply open up your SII folder you would highlight the both of these you'd right click on them now see I have WinRIR and I have WinZip I would recommend heavily using WinZip since it works and for RIR, I've had trouble with archiving these. So I'm going to say add to an archive. He's going to pop up. He's going to say, okay. This is where I want it to go because what we want to do is he's going to add to an archive. But simply what he's going to do is end up throwing all that garbage into a, fo a zip file right here. And that's not what we want. We want to archive it and we want to make it into an SES file. So simply up here at the top, hit your right arrow. Let's go back all the way to where it says SII hit dot SCS this is gonna make an SCS file right well if you didn't this is what we're gonna me this is just gonna add to it so anytime I mod it I just update my SII folder sounds some make sense now hopefully it does um look down here zip files is what we want we want to add and replace we want a compression of none and if you're using WinRIR and you chose to ignore what I said 
and said, all right, screw you, I'm going to use WinRIR, you would use store. But in compression mode here, we want none. Make sure include system and hidden files is checked and simply hit add. I'm not going to. I don't need to. But you are. And when you add, you're going to notice, well, there's an SII file down here. It's 36 kilobits for me. Um, did I say kilobits? Kilobytes. Uh, SII, SES. That's what they're talking about. They're saying this is the SII that we're referring to. We're not going to get into it with you because you should automatically know this. But you don't. Take a look here. SII. You open him up. What is in him? Vehicle and death. It's exactly what we just made. Make sure all of your stuff's in here. And it's correct. You open him up. It should be <clears throat> what you saw in there from the beginning. So I'm going to close him out. Don't need him up. But that's the SII. So say... You wanted to add a mod, such as a truck, and it says to add lines to a, a traffic storage file. Well, take like vehicle, truck, traffic storage. You go like see like here. Um, let me go to the truck storage. Actually, here's the 2004 W900L. I added that line into it because you notice in those readme's it says add include definition blah 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 blah. That's what they're talking about. Make sure that that little guy is still there. He's at the very bottom. So you would add that in there. You would hit file. You would hit save. That would save that notepad, right? Yes, it would. So you don't have to mess with anything. You updated those, and then you just go, oh, well, let's just make sure everything's right. You know, make sure those two are highlighted. You right-click, you add them to the archive. Up here at the top, you want to make sure it's SII.SES each time because now he's not going to create another one. He already knows that that exists. He's going to simply update the archive, and that's all you need it to do. Zip files, add and replace, compression of none, include system and hidden files, hit add. Boom. You are done. You have it. So now you move the um, – let's see where we're at. I don't know where we're on time, but let's take a look at this Volvo. Okay. And then I downloaded it. Hopefully, it will make some sense of what we're supposed to here. I'm going to extract this to its own uh, folder on the desktop, just so we can uh, make some sense of what's going on here. Come on, come on, come on. Slow. Okay, inside here. <clears throat> read that read me. Oh, no. Take all the packed SES files. Move them to your mod folder. It's a replacement. Uh, see, I, I'm not a fan of replacement mods. I'm sorry about that. Um, I was trying to find a standalone. But um, I'll just do another tutorial on that. It won't, it won't be a big deal. So I hope uh, this makes some more sense, breaks the light of what you are supposed to do when you're modding 18 Wheels of Steel Holland. Remember, everything is just simply going to be in your My Documents 18 Wheels of Steel Holland mod folder. There's our SII folder. We're just going to update him every time we have to mod something and just simply go in here. Highlight the two of the idiots, right-click them, add them to the archive, zip file, add and replace, compression of none, include the system and hidden files on. And remember, don't forget, every time, got to change that to SI.SCS and hit add. Because if you don't do that up there, let me show you what happens. We go, okay, add to archive. Jeff was right, I did all this stuff, I hit add, but... It didn't do anything. It just created this. That's what would happen because we told because that made a zip file. We don't want that. So I hope it made sense. Uh, we should um, end it here, and uh, I'll help you next time. Take care.